Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. But today I got my 5 top blazers that I will be wearing this fall. I am in Georgia so the weather is up and down, hence why I have on this top and a full leather skirt and I had on boots today. <laughs> so these are the blazers that I'm going to be, that, that's going to be in my rotation. One blazer I am going to get because one of these, which is this one, I really like it a lot and I want to get a black one. I have a black leather blazer but I got the sleeves cropped and I think I showed you guys that before. Um, I got this blazer cropped like this because the sleeves weren't like where I needed them to be and it wasn't enough to bring down and you guys know I'm tall so I got the sleeves cropped. So I'm just going to get one more blazer in black leather and then I should be good. So let's get started. This first blazer I'm going to pop in this short little video is from Aqua. I think it's called Aqua. Now I purchased this. It still has, did I wear it? I think I wore it once. Yeah. So their stuff runs really small so it's very fitted. Once I pop in the video you're going to see it. Um, so it's fitted which I don't mind because I bought it to go with a certain pair of pants. Um, and that was it, right? <laughs> so if I did wear it again with another, like jeans, I would wear something that is a little bit more baggier on the bottom, um, because it's a fitted, it's more of a fitted place. It has slight, small, um, shoulder pads, which is pretty cool too. Um, you guys will see it. It doesn't have real pockets, so that sucks, but all in all, it's a, actually a really nice jacket. The quality is really, really nice. If they would have had this in, huh, maybe, because <laughs> this is a large, maybe a 2X, it would have been a little bit more oversized. But like I said, I don't mind it because it can go with pants that are bigger at the bottom. You guys know you have to balance your stuff out. Wearing too much tight, it just doesn't look good. Um, always have something on a little bit bigger in one of the areas. So that is blazer number one by Aqua, A-Q-U-A. It's an old blazer, so I'll see if I can find something similar with the same type of design on the sides. So that's that blazer. The second blazer is from ALC. I love ALC. The quality is, hmm, to me, it's a hit or miss sometimes, um, just because of those leather pants. But this is a nice jacket. This is a tuxedo blazer. You need one in your wardrobe. You do not have to spend as much as I did on this one. However, you do need a tuxedo blazer. This still has the tag on it. Um, and I think the day I was going to wear, I ended up swapping out for something else. I never took the tag off. But it's gonna get worn this fall. Um, it has pockets no not no nope, no real pockets I think I showed that in the video <laughs> no real pockets um and I believe oh this is a size eight it's it was an oversized blazer I did get a size eight because the reviews were saying oh it runs super super big so I just sucked it up and just got an eight and I was it was fine it's fine on me actually I think if I got it any bigger it would be too big um so that's blazer number two and it has like the satin lapels so when you are looking for a tuxedo blazer look for stuff like that it gives it really nice detail i'm gonna find one like this zara had one that was really really nice um that i got for a client super nice if they still have that guys you already know what happened <laughs> i have to really get me some more batteries okay i'm really starting to think that there's something wrong with it so that's blazer number two. Let's move this along. Number three and four are thrifted blazers. Um, I'm sure we can find things that actually look like these. This, this is a man's, I mean, it's such a man's blazer. It's wool and it's, it doesn't even have like a name. It's, it's literally pure wool. But I really like this jacket because you'll see the, the video. Um, I don't know, even though it looks big like this, it fits really well on my frame. And it could be because I have broad shoulders and the shoulders for men are usually broad and it just sits on my shoulders. I hate them, but I can't do anything about it. <laughs> but this is a good idea, buying blazers that are thrifted. 
buying blazers that are in the men's section. They just have a better fit sometimes if you're going for an oversized look. So I would suggest having a mix in your wardrobe. Have some that are fitted and then you know mix them with like bigger bottoms or have some that are oversized and kind of more of a fitted bottom. Um, I do see girls doing big top and big bottom. I can't do it. It's just too much for my frame. Um, it just wouldn't look good on me and I know I wouldn't like it on my body type. So that's the third blazer. The fourth blazer is also thrifted. Um, and let me tell you, oh, this one right here, I'm gonna pop in a picture. I don't even know the material. It's like, I, this is like, I don't even know. But the reason why I like it is because when they, whoever had this blazer, I can tell that they actually got it tailored to fit their body. When I tell you the way this jacket fits under my arms and everything, it's impeccable. So they went somewhere to a men's warehouse or whoever um, and had them tailor this to fit their body. I would love to get a blazer made. That would be awesome, okay? <laughs> um, I wish brands really did cater to tall women because Listen, we like to look cute too, okay? Don't just leave us out there because we're tall. It's a little bit of brands that actually cater to us and you guys already know how I feel about that. The quality is not top tier. So I just make things work for my body type. You know, this shirt and this skirt is not specifically for tall women, but it so happened to fit my frame. So this is another one. And this is kind of like a, I don't know, it's almost like a camel color. It's almost like a camel color, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a camel color. And then the last blazer is the one that I just showed you guys recently. It's the ivory color one. So I'm gonna get another one like this in black. Hopefully I can catch it on sale, guys. Cause this mug is $6.75 and I caught it on sale. So I was very, very happy, <laughs> like pretty much half off. Um, if I can find this one on sale again, I'm definitely gonna get it cause it's leather and it's nice. So. In the picture, you'll see, um, no, these do not have like real pockets. I don't know what's going on with these new blazers. They do not come with real pockets. I mean, like, I don't get it. Like, does it cost money, more money to make? It's like a short, you could put something in here, but nothing crazy, like, like something really small. Um, but this doesn't have like any, uh, split in the back. It's just a really, really nice jacket. Listen, to be honest, if I could get two more of these, I would be set with blazers. Like, and this is the one by Lamarck. So I'll link this one. And then the rest of them, I'll try to link something that actually goes, um, that I can find that matches those. But <laughs> those are the blazers that I am going to be wearing this fall, guys. Um, I have more. You guys know I just purchased this one um, from, not Etsy, Poshmark, from a friend of mine. And I have some other ones here, but I have some cream ones. But no, they're not a beautiful satin. They're not thick enough, a satin one. Then I have that leather one, which I'm not going to include because it's leather. But other than that, those are the blazers that I'm going to have in rotation. All of these blazers can go with multiple outfits, skirts, shorts, jeans. I don't wear leggings, but if you like stirrups and leggings and things like that, you can do it. Um, if you want something a bit more oversized and longer, look for that especially if you are a person who likes to wear shorts in the fall and in the winter. Um, but that's it guys, that is my quick video for today. My top five blazers that I'm gonna be wearing this fall um, as a tall girl guys. <laughs> Let me know what you think about these blazers. Do you have your essential blazers? Um, are you missing any in your wardrobe? What colors would you add to your fall attire for your fall blazers guys? So. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You and please comment below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my blog Coco Styles NYC and my styling services Coco Styles NY. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.